today was perfect. There would be no need for a tomorrow. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, what are we looking at today with the cryptocurrency markets? Well, I mean, it looks like Bitcoin price is coming down. Ouch, it hurts a bit, but hey, you know, for those of us who are sitting here hodling Bitcoin, we know that it's going to get stronger before it gets weaker. Um, you know that as we go into the future, the price of this is going to be rebounding. Uh, as always, these dips occur in Bitcoin, and these are always just opportunity for the new investors to go ahead and see if they can't get their hands on a larger amount of Bitcoin at one of these lower prices. So as we sit here and we look for the bottom of Bitcoin, if you're new to Bitcoin, if you're looking to go ahead and get more Bitcoin, increase your holdings, these are the times to go ahead and invest more. So right now we're looking at a market cap of $200 billion. I mean, that's still great. We're still holding on to that $200 billion. I mean, now that we've made it up there, uh, hopefully we can continue to hold it as we move forward. I don't see any reason why we won't. We got $9.2 billion traded in the last 24 hours, and I mean, this is fantastic. We're holding a great trading volume. And as we move forward, the BTC dominance is dropping just a bit, but I mean, nothing to really be concerned about because BTC is always king. We got 57% BTC dominance right now. So, like I said, Bitcoin price is down a bit, coming in at $6,860. That's down 4.2%. I mean, still, I mean, I don't know if it's the bottom yet, but I'm keeping my eye out for it because you never know. I always like to pick up some cheap Bitcoin. Uh, we got Ethereum price suffering just a little bit. They're down 2%, coming in at $311. Still on the other side of $300, bucks, which is always great, continuing to move upwards. Uh, you know, these Ethereum holders would like to see $350 at least, uh, you know, get out of this $300 bracket that they've been in. Uh, let me see. We got Bitcoin Cash. I mean, they're the big time movers today. I mean, they're up 25%. They're coming in at $787. Uh, you know, what the frig is going on with this, right? I mean, you know, is this a situation of all of the big blockers from the segregated witness 2X now moving their support over to Bitcoin Cash because it has the larger block size trying to see if they can continue this momentum of a large block size in Bitcoin? Um, or, I mean, is are people really just liking Bitcoin Cash? I mean, you never really know with this stuff. The market is what determines these things. But I mean, today, right now, Bitcoin Cash is up 25%. So if you've been holding it still, I mean, we're getting back there near those all-time highs of $900. So I mean, hey, your value is holding good there. Uh, let me see. What do we got? We got Ripple coming in at 21.1 cents. It's down 2.3%, but nothing really to be concerned about considering they've made some gains recently. We got Litecoin at $62.17, making some sideways movement. Uh, we got Dash. Hey, they're up 4.7% coming in at $338. That's not bad at all. We got NEM. There we go. 21.7 cents. Uh, they're up 6.8%, uh, making some gains there, which is always nice. We got Monero. They're down 2.5%, but still on the other side of $100, coming in at $111. Uh, you know, so that's really not that bad. I mean, I'm real happy to see Monero's price up there. They've been undervalued for a while. You know, I keep supporting their privacy feature, that, saying that it's one of the best out there. Um, let me see. We got Ethereum Classic. They're up 2.3%. Uh, you know, still hanging out there at the you know under twenty dollar range, fourteen thirty eight, getting up there around fifteen bucks. So I mean, I always got my fingers crossed for them. You never know. Uh, we got Zcash coming in at two fifty five. That's up three point five percent. And we got Steam. They're down ten percent, coming in at ninety three cents. And we got the Steam back dollar coming in at ninety six cents. That's down four point six percent. Apparently, people aren't valuing the Steam recently. Uh, so. What are we looking at here for news on Bitcoin and coffee? Well, I mean, on the lighter side of news, I got the UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship. Uh, you know, they're website or whatever they've been mining monero with it uh on their pay website so i mean the people aren't really too happy about it i guess it didn't take too long for them to be able to figure out that this was happening uh they started putting up some complaints about it i guess they're apologizing for it at the moment but i mean you know this is a continuing thing that we keep seeing uh you know people that are out there with websites they want to go ahead they want to get paid i mean advertising only pays so much um so, I mean, mining cryptocurrency, hey, there you go. I mean, this stuff is, you know, definitely moving into the future. As we keep saying, people are going to find new lucrative ways to be able to use cryptocurrency, you know, to help better their lives. And apparently this is one of them, going ahead and having a site and, you know, using in the background to mine some sort of cryptocurrency to increase your funding on the site. Uh, so, I mean, I guess they're going to be shutting that down. I mean, I know you can always block it at home, uh, you know, with the, the ad blockers and whatnot. I mean... As always, you know, you have to do your due diligence when it comes to your technology and, you know, your computing and all of that. I mean, if you're going to be out there on the Internet and you're going to be using sites, you got to be understanding what you're doing. Uh, you know, not everybody has your best interests in mind, right? So 
we got still a continuation of the news on segregated witness 2x and the hard fork um you know that's been called off but we have an obscure group out there called bit pico uh bit pico um they're saying that everything is set in motion and they want to go ahead and keep running with it. Uh, they're saying that they're pretty much going to be taking 30% of our network. Uh, they're going to go ahead and continue with the segregated witness 2x hard fork. So, I mean, uh, you know, another time's going to tell. I have no idea how this one's going to play out. Uh, I mean, definitely going to be seen as some sort of an altcoin. Um, what kind of a value this is going to end up having you know, as they continue to move forward, I, you know, I mean, they still have the futures market running. I mean, they're still showing signaling signs as you go and look at the charts, uh, you know, and I have those listed down there in the tools below so you can check those out for yourselves and see if as time moves forward, if these things fluctuate over the weekend. Um, but I mean, here we go. BitPico is going to be putting out their own altcoin called Segregated Witness 2X, apparently, right? And we've all been wondering what's been going on with the Bitcoin gold. Uh, you know, we all went ahead and we put all of our value into Bitcoin, you know, waiting for that snapshot to happen back there. Uh, you know, and here we go. It looks like November 12th, around 7 p.m. Uh, it looks like the main net's going to be going live. They're going to be going ahead and providing a full Bitcoin gold node uh, if you're going to be into running that. So shortly after, I'm sure that we'll be having all of our, you know, abilities to switch the wallets and all of that coming out on our hardware wallets. Or if you're at the exchange, they will, you know, be giving you our credit in your account. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this. So let's see what kind of value it's going to have as, you know, we move forward. So as always, if you like what's happening here on Bitcoin and Coffee, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I see that we got another subscriber last night and that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you for joining the community. As always, I'm trying to bring you your news and a recap in under 10 minutes so you can get off and go to work just like I got to go do. So, I mean, I got all kinds of tools, affiliation codes. Remember, if you're on Steam, it, please come over, upvote my post. It's one of the best things you can do to help support me here. Uh, I like to turn around and try to upvote you if you make comments and stuff on there. You know, I'm not super active on it, but I at least got my videos out there. I at least try to respond to you. Just like go ahead below, please leave some comments. Let me know if you dislike or like this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, share it out. It's one of the best things you can do also to help me here and this community grow. As always, trying to avoid those scams trying to do what we can do to get our Bitcoin to grow as we move into the future because, you know, hey, this stuff's the future and, you know, we're smart people for holding on to it. And as always, you know, I got donational addresses because, you know, hey, it helps, right? So as always, remember, have a great weekend and keep your BTC safe.